Hello! Welcome to ResoCoder! In this tutorial series you're going to learn C-sharp all the way from the most basic constructs up to the more advanced topics. This course is specially designed to suit even absolute beginners. That means that I will always explain new concepts in great detail, so that no matter what kind of background you have with programming, you will be a bit smarter after each tutorial. There will be an exercise that I advise you to go through after each video, because although watching a tutorial is beneficial, you're going to learn much more when you get your hands dirty, as they say, and actually write some code. I think that C Sharp is the best language to learn, especially if you're a beginner. And hold on, before some of you start sharpening your pitchforks, let me explain. C Sharp is really versatile and you can do pretty much everything you can think of with it. Whether you want to make games, web apps, desktop apps or mobile apps, C Sharp has got you covered. And by mobile apps I don't mean Windows Phone or Universal Windows Platform. I mean real cross-platform apps that you can easily release on Android, iOS and Windows without having to write a single line of code in another language. Oh, and did I mention that you can do all of this for free? C Sharp is also relatively easy to learn compared to languages like C++ and it also has many safety features that will prevent you from doing stupid things like for example treating a text as if it was a number. C Sharp is also no longer exclusively a Windows thing it's getting more and more open source. A smaller version of .NET framework called .NET Core was recently released by Microsoft and is fully cross-platform. You can work with it on Windows, Linux or Mac. There's also Mano framework which is also cross-platform. And it's also used by Unity Engine. Now, after I showed you why C Sharp is amazing and you're hopefully all hyped up, let's install Visual Studio if you're on Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, I will leave a link for you in the video description. So to download and install Visual Studio IDE, you will go to visualstudio.com, link is in the video description. You click on learn more here. And uh, you can press download Visual Studio. And uh, yeah, Visual Studio Community, because this is the free version that has all the features that beginner needs. So click on free download and it's going to redirect you to a download page where you will download it. The install process is really, really simple and straightforward. Now, after you downloaded and installed Visual Studio, you will open it up and it will look something like this. So we will make a new project. You can make a new project by going to file, new project. Wait for a while, initializing templates. And after it initializes, you want to click on console app. And we will call this hello world or rather learn C sharp. All right, and uh, we'll click on OK. I also want to change the directory of this and click on OK. This will create a project. And here we go. So we have a project created. First up, you might have noticed that your Visual Studio looks a bit different than mine because I've changed it to a dark theme and I've also installed a custom theme. If you want to change Visual Studio to appear dark, you can go to Tools, Options, General and Color Theme and select Dark from this drop-down menu. Alright, click on OK. After you've changed the color to dark, you can also change the font color to be like mine font color. This is called a custom theme. If you want to install a custom theme to Visual Studio, you can download the theme that I have from the link in the video description and after you download it, you can go to Tools, Import and Export Settings, 
import selected environment settings next and for now I will just import new settings overwriting my current settings and go to browse go to the location where you downloaded this hams2 theme and click on open and click on next and it will install to your Visual Studio and now Visual Studio should look exactly like mine. Now as every classic tutorial we have to start with hello world example and you do this in C sharp by writing console console dot write line two parentheses and you supply a string this is called a string hello world alright and end this with semicolon now if you want to run this code you can click on start and what happened it immediately stopped well it's because when you write hello world to the screen it writes it out but then there is nothing more to do so it stops execution what you want to do here is write console dot read line and what this does is that it waits for enter to be pressed so now when we press start or F5 you can see hello world and it waits for our input and when we press enter it stops so first of all all of this may seem a bit confusing at first and we can actually delete these four using statements so now that that's out of the way what is a namespace well namespace is a thing that groups together classes well and this is a class all right what is a class then you can think of class as something that groups methods which is this class also groups other things than methods but I will cover those in future tutorials so now that we know that a class groups methods and other things what is a method and what are these things that go before the the name of the method like static and void and what is this well I will explain it in the future tutorials for now let's just focus on the content of this method methods group together statements and expressions and obviously what is a statement well this is a statement and this is also a statement statement always ends with semicolon and statement is something that changes state well this is quite abstract but uh, yeah right line when you think about it right line changes state of something because it writes out hello world to the console and read line also changes state of something because it halts execution until you press enter right again let's demonstrate hello world this changed state and now it's waiting for an enter to be pressed so read line also changes state of something in the program all right and I've said that uh, methods also group together expressions and this for example is an expression this is called a literal expression because you can literally see what the expression contains so to say this expression contains text or a string and the string says hello world now there are also other kinds of expressions for example when I delete this string here and I write one plus one this is also an expression but this is a numeric expression 
And when I save it, press Ctrl S or go here and save it and start, it will write out 2. And this is probably a bit too small for you, so I will make it a bit bigger. A lot bigger, actually. This is probably too big. Let's run it again. And you can see 2 is written out to the console. Cool. But bear in mind that this is a numeric expression. And when you copy this numeric expression, or just write a new string literal expression, and you write in that string literal expression 1 plus 1, this is now not a numeric expression. This is not treated like a number. This is not treated like an addition. This is just going to write out 1 plus 1. Because everything that is between two quotation marks is automatically treated like a string. And C Sharp no longer cares whether it contains numbers or other things. It's just a string. There will be no exercise for this tutorial, so you're lucky you have no homework for today. I hope that you learned something new and valuable from this tutorial, and if so, give this video a like, and also don't forget to share it. If you don't want to miss any new tutorials, subscribe to this channel. And if you really don't want to miss anything, hit that little bell button. That's it for now, and see you in the next video.